Now problem number five from sheet number one is exercise on use of different types of line. So this problem is not a graphical problem. It's a, a little bit we can say the theoretical problem in which you have to understand the concept of different lines. As you might know, this engineering graphic is nothing but the language for engineers. So you have to follow certain rules. You have to follow certain structure to construct any drawing. So types of line is used to construct a proper drawing. If you uh, write A and A. So in sentence structure, the meaning of A and A is different. So you have to consider this capital or small letter according to the structure of your sentence. So same way, if you draw something uh, dif uh, using different lines, so the meaning is different. So first one is a continuous thick line. So where to use this continuous thick line and how to uh, how to draw it by using single pencil, I will explain you in this video. So continuous thick line. The application is visible outline. Uh, one more thing, this problem is not going to directly uh, ask you in an exam in form of big question. It might be asked in uh, objective question like one or two marks. Write down uh, three types of line and explain the applications of it. So that's why I made this video. So continuous thick line, so it is used for the visible outline. Visible outline, that means whatever you see in front view, top view or side view, you have to construct by using this line like this. So this is continuous thick line. Okay, so this is the one application of continuous thick line. Second one is continuous thin line. Most of the time, uh, many students have uh, did mistake in this continuous thin line by using by if you want to draw the projection line a uh, hidden line so this kind of things you have to consider uh, properly choose the types of line so first one is uh, second is continuous thin line so that examples are applications are dimensions so if this is an object if you want to mention the dimensions of it so this dimension line must be drawn very thin you can see i have drawn very thin line as compared to thick line so uh, apply lesser pressure as compared to that this so this is a thin line so these are not a part of your drawing but it is used to explain the dimensions and uh, different structure of your drawing so First one is a dimension line. Second one is a ladder line. Ladder line is used like if this is a structure and this is a circle. And if you want to measure a diameter or a radius, then at that time you have to draw a ladder line to draw it outside like 530. So this 530 indicate so that this indicate a diameter of this circle is 30 mm to mention dimension. You cannot mention dimension over here or nearer to here like this. So it is not right method to mention. So for that you have to extend this dimensions over here outside the structure. So this lines is called as a ladder line. So this ladder line must be drawn by using thin line. Next one is extension line so to mention the dimensions to mention the dimension these are the dimension you have to mention so you have to extend some part of the drawing many students have did this mistake like this is a structure and some students have drawn like this so this is not right method to mention the dimension so for that you have to extend this line and you have to draw your lines on you have to draw dimension line on particular extension line so this extension line also drawn by using thin line construction line construction line is like uh, you have seen a construction bamboos to create a building so it is not a part of the building to to clean the windows or to coloring the wall or even the construction of the wall or a floor you have to create some structure which is temporary it is not a part of your building so that is a construction structure so same way in construction line if i'm giving you example of engineering cows in this cows i need only i need only this arc this ellipse 
or a circle whatever it is to construct this ellipse you have to follow certain methods like this you have, have to follow certain structures and you have to draw a structures so this structure is not a part of the drawing our main objective is to construct an ellipse so these lines are a construction line so construction line have to drawn by using thin line next is outline of the adjacent part outline of the adjacent part that means this is the part this is the object and it uh, you have to draw an adjacent part of this particular drawing so which is of uh, one of the cross section or a surface which is not visible so at that time you have to draw by using thin line next is hatching line hatching line is very much important because if you cut let's say this eraser inside this eraser that is a hollow portion you cannot see from the any view so for that you have to cut this rubber and uh, to whenever you cut this rubber you have to mention in your drawing like this portion is my cutted portion so this cutting line it's called as a hatching okay uh, by by applying this manufacturer can understand the drawing design design engineer wants to mention the cutted portion cutted surface on the body so it is known as a hatching line so certain rules you have to follow to draw hatching line so this is a 45 degree line you have to construct the hatching line at angle of 45 degree and the distance between two lines must be equal the distance between these two line must be equal and then revolved section let's say i if i want means this if i revolve this it will create something like this it's create dumbbells something like this okay so this is the outcome of the cross section of this so you, if you need to draw a, this revolved section then this is not an actual drawing this is not an actual part so this must be drawn by using continuous thin line next is dash line dash thin line so dash thin line is only draw to use a hidden lines hidden line is most most important part of orthographic projection because most of the time students have drawn only straight lines so it's not going to be there so uh, if uh, let's say this names or uh, some structure is there uh, this is the structure and if you observe it from this direction you cannot see the back side of the things or if there is a slot you cannot see any of the line but it is there in the structure so for that it's hidden so hidden line must be drawn by using this dash thin line so dash thin line also there is a method uh, the dash is this dash must be of 2 mm this is 2 mm and 1 mm gap 2 mm and 1 mm gap throughout it don't draw dotted line because most of the uh, students are confused with this this is a dotted line dotted line that means it's a dot you can you see the dotted line over here it's not a part of the engineering drawing structure so you have to draw a dash thin line so this is the application of dash thin line next is chain thin so chain thin is like this uh, a longer shorter length longer length shorter longer shorter longer something like that everybody have seen this uh, structure in pubg game i think okay so this is a scope you can see it's a scope so to mention the center of the circle to mention the center of the circle you have to draw this chain thin line okay so the structure of this chain thin line is a long short line long line short line so this the chain thin line is used to draw a center line a symmetry line locus line peach circle same structure you have to follow next is chain thin with the thick ends as i mentioned earlier that uh, uh, you if you want to cut this portion if you want to cut this surface and uh, you want to mention the the structure on the drawing so you have to draw by using this chain thin with the thick ends it's called as a cutting plane line so at the end you have to mention a thick ends same method as a chain thin next is chain thick line 
so chain thick line line is not used most of the time because it is a special drawn line so it is used only to indicate the surface which a special requirement applies like if you want to mention as a design engineer if you want to mention this surface must be a smooth surface at that time you have to draw this kind of lines for to understand to give instruction to the manufacturer so this is the chain thin line next is continuous thin free hand so irregular boundaries so uh, you cannot draw a liquid if this is a barrel or a glass and you cannot draw a liquid like this this is the normal practice okay but you cannot draw it now you can understand this dash line meaning a hidden line okay so we are not going to hide our liquid if this is the transparent surface so for that you have to draw a like this so continuous thin with the free hand line so this is the application of this continuous thin with the zigzag so long break line if the dimensions of a two point distance is very long and you cannot uh, compile this length on our drawing sheet then you have to draw a chain break line like this hard bit type so long break line continuous thin with the zigzag and you have to mention like this is a 800 mm but you are not you you cannot you not have to draw 800 uh, 80 meter over here so these are the application of line